Thank you, Lowbrow Customs, for sponsoring this beer. Because these horsemen ride with the sound side, with heads like thunder, the rock will go by. We have no mercy to be far and wide. Whiskey Chaser fam, welcome back to another video. I'm here with the Yamaha Bolt. If you haven't seen this thing on the channel in a while, that's because it was having a few problems. The injectors were super clogged, probably because of all the rain crap that I've ridden through over the past couple of years. I did put 20,000 miles on this bike, went through all kinds of nasty weather. It's got dirt, it's got grime, it's got water, it's got all that kind of crap stuffed down into those injectors. So I pulled those out, I cleaned them up a little bit, thing runs much better now. It was backfiring, it was horrible, it was barely able to ride. I'll put a little clip right here. It was not good. In my process of trying to find out what the hell was wrong with this thing, I pulled all of the valve covers off to do a valve adjustment. Not many things this bike has a problem with initially. I do have the open air intake, so of course that was a little bit of an issue. However, the valves are an ongoing thing. Checked those, they were fine, but in my haste of putting it back together, I screwed up. I pinched one of the gaskets on the valve cover and so now it is spewing oil out of that valve cover. I went ahead and I got a couple of valve gaskets. I'm going to replace that one, get this thing running again because I missed this bike. I want to get it back on the road and get it moving and do some more stuff with it. So first thing we're going to do now is remove the tank. Uh, and then get these plastic covers off right here that should allow us access to the valve cover which I can pull off, switch out the gasket, put it all back together and hopefully this thing ain't gonna leak anymore. Wanted to take a quick second and do a quick shout out. I'm gonna be starting this new thing called Patreon of the Week and this week I'm gonna be highlighting Big Rob. Big Rob is a guy in Australia. He's super freaking awesome. He's been one of my Patreons since all the way back the very beginning I believe of 2021 he makes some great content if you want to go check out his YouTube channel hasn't done anything in a little while on his YouTube but he has done stuff on his Instagram he also just got a beautiful green road king his gorgeous bride as he still calls her even though they've been married for a long time finally allowed him to get a new bike and so now he has this road king which is absolutely incredible and you should go check him out Follow his socials, his Instagram, his YouTube, all that kind of stuff. Let's convince him to start making YouTube videos again because I miss watching this guy and listening to this guy. He just shows me a part of Australia I never even knew about. I didn't really know a lot about Australia to begin with, but he really shows me a lot of Australia that I didn't really know about. So thank you to Big Rob, Patreon of the week. Congratulations, my man. All right, let's get to building this bike. All right, here are the valve covers right here, intake and exhaust. And as you can see, there are some screws right there, some bolts that take a Allen key. Now, some of them you can get to with like a T-handle or a regular Allen or anything like that. But a couple of them are way back here up under the frame. And so the best way to do it is to either get these little stubby Allens or to shave one down if you have a grinder. So this thing would normally sit about there and you know I got a special set that's a lot shorter so it'll actually fit up under this frame and actually be able to maneuver down there and get in there all that kind of stuff so take these off and then the valve gasket thing will be right up under here which I believe I pinched it up in the front we'll see how it looks whenever I get it off and uh, put the new one on all right so here's a perfect example of what I was talking about with getting the short stubby allens so right there that one which needs to come off obviously is so close to the fuel filter that i can barely even get this little stubby one in here in order to get that bolt out luckily there is enough clearance 
that I can, if I can actually get it on there, and do a little twist. Alright, let's see how bad this is. Oh! My, my sins. Alright, yeah, I screwed up. That was my bad. <laughs> Luckily, a replacement was only about six dollars, so not too bad. But, you know, don't do that. <laughs> don't do it like what I did. <laughs> Put it back on correctly and it's like it's not like it's a difficult thing to fix but what a pain in the butt to have to come back in here and completely take this thing apart take the tank off get this specialty tool in here put the valve cover in upside down have to take it back out flip it around and put it back <laughs> oh man a lot of people are like oh man Chase, why don't you just work on people's bikes for a living? Because I suck. <laughs> I have no clue what the hell I'm doing, man. All right, so we should be good to go. I was sort of getting some leaking from where that gasket was up on the front of the rear cylinder. So I don't have the gas tank on right now. That's fine. I don't need it to be running in order for the oil to be circulating. So I'm going to start it up give it a couple little cranks, make sure that there's no oil coming out of where it was or really anywhere else. And then throw the gas tank back on and see how we do it. All right, it looks good. Let's get the tank back on, start her up. As you can tell, it still is running a little bit lean, but it's running way better than it was. So I'm gonna get some injector cleaner and actually run that through the system to try to see if I can clean those things up a little bit more. As you can hear, it's kind of dying right now. Is it gonna die? I don't know. I'm gonna try to clean those injectors up a little bit more. If I can't, then I'll just go ahead and buy some new ones. I think they're about 150 bucks on eBay. Or maybe I could try going through the Yamaha dealer or something like that. But I think I've pinpointed the problem, which is fantastic. It means that this thing is going to be back on the road real soon. A little bit of a backfire, not too bad. We're on our way. The bolt will be roadworthy again very quickly. I can tell. Also, I think at this point, all of us owe a huge, huge thank you to Shelby Daytona. When I didn't know what the hell was going on with this thing, I actually thought it was running rich. I did the old 1-800-ASK-SHELBY and he diagnosed it almost immediately. I sent him a video of what was going on and he was like, yep, I'll bet you a hundred freaking dollars it's running lean. So that's what helped me track down the injector problem. After I cleaned those up a little bit, it's running substantially better. Not a hundred percent, but Dude, substantially better. So thank you, Shelby. You rock, brother. All right, going from non-working bikes. Yeah, well, I mean, it works, but whatever. Not as well as I want it to, to. Whoa. Amazing running bikes. It has been rainy and gross all day today until just now. When the sun came out, it's 70 degrees, beautiful. And it's supposed to be like this for the rest of the day. So I have some errands to run anyway. Parker the Coyote is off work and right behind me. So I said, you know what? Let's go for a little back ride. The errands I'm talking about today are going down to the bank to get a check, a uh, cashier's check for a realty group because Parker and I found a place to live. Uh, it's in Nashville proper, the actual city. It is uh, not far away from where we work. It's only, uh, I think it's five miles or something for her. It's like less than eight for me. So it's gonna be way closer than what we have been 
So that means that I got to go sign this lease and then we have to get a trailer for the Forerunner, pile up all of our stuff that is in the garage of the place we're at now and take it to the new spot, uh, like in two days. <laughs> Apparently my microphone is completely and totally messed up, so I'm sorry if this comes out terrible. <laughs> I think that maybe on one of the, uh, the latest rides that I did, the cable that connects to the microphone may have gotten, I don't know, hit by something or maybe just when I was putting it down somewhere, it got kind of hit, I'm not sure, but it seems like the mic doesn't seem to be working correctly. I guess we'll see when I edit this video. One thing that I like particularly about this Cena is that for a replacement headset, it's only about $45. So you get the speakers, you get the microphone, you get all the mounts, everything like that. The only thing you don't get is the actual Cena unit itself. Super happy I got these bags on. If you haven't seen that video where I put these bags on, I made a reel and put it on my Instagram. So go check that out. I love them, man. They're really, really nice. Uh, they were pretty damn cheap and they would fit on any of the bikes that we have. So that's kind of why I got them. I, I'm going to do a hard bag setup eventually, probably on this thing, like a detachable hard bag setup. But for right now, they are good. Damn, it's so windy. All right, going to go check out the house. We haven't actually looked inside. I've seen the pictures, but we haven't actually been inside. I drove by it and kind of like peeked in a little bit. But the thing is, is like, this is like the seventh house that we've looked at or apartment duplex, blah, 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 whatever, that has gone in like less than a day. Uh, or it didn't fortunately go in less than a day because it wasn't even available whenever I applied for it. It was still, um, it was gonna be available at the beginning of the month and I literally called them and I was like, look, you don't even have to show me, just let me view the, or let me apply for the place because I just like I know we want it uh, worst case scenario is we hate it we move into it for a little bit and then we find somebody to sublease because from what I've seen with the people who are subleasing out here it's not that difficult to get somebody to uh, sublease your place so I was just like fuck it screw it whatever apply and then we got it and so now we're gonna go view it for the first time after I've already dropped off the deposit for it <laughs> so hopefully um, we like it all right, we went and we checked out the house, and I am not super impressed. <laughs> but you know what? Like I said, it's in the budget. It's a place to put our head at night, and it's uh, got space for all the vehicles and shit. So you know what? Even if it does look like a crack house, we're going to turn it into a crack home. It just definitely was built in the 1950s. The uh, Obviously, they have not taken super great care of it. They seem to be in the middle of a renovation, even though it said it was renovated. And uh, <laughs> we're supposed to be taking uh, ownership, or not ownership, but taking uh, signing a lease on it for two days from now. On the 1st, and today's the 27th, and the counters are not done. Uh, the inside has trash kind of all over. The attic is completely full of all the old tenants' trash. It's just interesting how it is uh, 2.30. <laughs> and in two days, they're supposed to be passing us the keys to this place. And it's uh, definitely not, um, not all that great. <laughs> I mean, they said that it's going to be done. They said the counters are going to be done. They said the plumbing is going to be finished. Uh, they said that the attic is going to be cleaned out. Uh, we'll see. See how it goes. It's still very wary of what the hell uh, these guys are going to do. I don't know, man. Whatever. You know what? They said it's going to be done, and we haven't signed anything yet, so that'll be that. On the plus side, it is only... Uh, six or seven minutes away from some of the best bars in the entire city. So we're gonna go have some beers because like I said, it is 2.30 on a Monday. 
which can only mean one thing, and that's happy hour. And I love me some happy hour. I was gonna film inside, so number one, since it wasn't finished, I didn't wanna do that. Number two, uh, we had to talk with the lady on the phone because she was trying to clarify everything that was going on. And then number three, it was just dirty. So I didn't want to film inside yet. It just looks incomplete. There's no appliances, which nowhere on the ad did it say that there were no appliances. But whenever we asked them about it, they were like, oh yeah, you have to get your own appliances. That means we got to get our own uh, oven or range, whatever. We got to get our own refrigerator. Dude, like places come with refrigerators, you know? Like, so I wasn't really expecting that. Uh, you know, we're gonna have to try and find something, I guess, cheap off Facebook Marketplace or something, because I don't have the money to buy <laughs> to buy an oven <laughs> or a refrigerator. Refrigerators are expensive, dude. You know what? I'm not worried about it right now. Only thing I'm worried about: get my bikes over there, get all my stuff set up. That's about it. We'll figure all the rest out later. That's all just semantics. All right, baby, three crow bar. I've been to this place once before. They got two for one beers, which is amazing. And they have a parking lot. Parking around here is apparently pretty uh, tough. So to have your own parking lot, I'm into that. All right, there's nothing better than crack house hunting than a nice cold beer afterwards. It's okay, we're gonna turn this crack house into a crack hole. The last thing you expect to dive for is delicious food. Look at that. What is it? Fried green tomato BLT. Fried green tomato BLT. And I got this shrimp po' boy. This is a half size. Half size. I don't want to see how big the. Hey you. I know. I don't want to see how big the full size one is. Let's see how it is. We open it. Cheers. How's that? How's the bread? Oh, good man. All right. Tell us, George. Cheers. Do the thing. Now we just need to do about five million. Hours. Wish us luck. All right, that was a good time. You have fun? Good. Gotta get this thing out of here, man. definitely help to relax the mind a little bit. Happy hour is always great. I love it. Two for one beers. Can't go wrong with that. The guy that uh, was the bartender there, Sam, I'd met him before and he was really, really nice. The last time I was in there and he loves my beer. So I might just have to uh, show up there a little bit more considering we're now going to live right down the street. Very excited to get out here and explore some more. We came out here back in September. I absolutely loved it, so so it's great that we get to come out and actually live in this in this neighborhood. And we could have gone a little bit further out, gotten probably a little bit nicer of a place. I'm all about the experience of being in the spot. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to live in Manhattan versus living in, you know, Brooklyn or Queens. It's where all the fun was. Now we get to do that here. Well, maybe this is a good time for me to sign off. I don't really know how long that we're going to be sitting in this traffic, and I don't think that's going to be very interesting for everybody else. But thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you are not subscribed, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button. Leave me a like, leave me a comment, all that good stuff. And if you have a refrigerator, a stove, or a washer and dryer that you're willing to donate, <laughs> please let me know. And uh, hopefully you're local-ish so I can come pick it up. Uh, please don't feel bad if you can't, it's totally fine. We'll find something, it'll be all right. I really am excited about having a house and having a place for us, even though you know, it's not the best, but you know what, it's ours. Not ours, technically, we're just renting it, but it is something that we have together. And I don't know, it'll be fun. If you like this video, let me know. And
do all the other stuff. Check out my Patreon if you want to join that. It's just $1 a month and you get access to my Discord. Behind the scenes, you get to chat with some pretty cool people. The coolest people on the internet. But that's it for me. That's it for Parker. Say bye. <laughs> we'll see y'all later.